Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a viewer question. All right, so today I got another uh, viewer question in the comment section uh, below one of my videos and thought it was a good question. And so we're gonna offer it today for our Q and A. And just as a reminder, if you ask a really good question, who knows, maybe uh, you might show up in one of these videos. Uh, so here's the question. It's from LaQuentin Edwards, okay? LaQuentin Edwards asks, what is the thickness of 10 Black Kings cards? Talking about Daniel Madison, illusionist, okay? I wanna know because I can't decide if I want the thick Blood Kings or the thinner Black Kings, but I wanna know how thin they are. Hey, that's a really good question, and so let me answer it, uh, and I can answer it really quickly. Uh, the difference between the Black Kings and the Blood Kings are next to nothing. I mean, it might actually be nothing, because really the caliper is measuring, but it's my caliper, and so my caliper might have a different measurement than yours. All I can do is show you what's thicker and what's thinner. I can definitely do that, but between the Black Kings and the Blood Kings, it's what, a hundredth of a millimeter? Like it's, it's nothing. What did I say? The Black Kings are 2.96 and the Blood Kings are 2.97. So in your hands, you won't feel a difference. You, you won't feel a difference. There's no such thing as thick Blood Kings and thinner Black Kings. They're the, they're, for the most part, they're practically the same size deck. And in fact, if I just went through all of my Madison decks and we'll show them to you right now, um, uh, just to give you a clue. Okay, so out of all of the Madison decks, the thinnest stock I have was the Hustlers. So that was 2.88. Uh, the rounders come in around 2.93. White rounders come in at 2.95. So again, same thickness as Black Kings and Blood Kings. Uh, red dealers are 2.97, same thickness, okay? So you're really not gonna get into a casino grade or B grade thickness until you hit the brown rounders. The brown rounders seem to be on B stock as well as the Lion's Den cards, which makes sense because they're casino cards, and the Expert at the Card Table cards. Those came in at 3.0 as well. Okay, so hopefully that's your answer. And really, you know, Bicycle, they only have two stocks. Uh, they have one type of paper, and they press it at two different thicknesses. They have retail stock, and they have casino stock. Retail stock comes in, uh, a Bicycle Rider deck is at 2.94. Okay, a regular red Bicycle deck off the shelf is 2.94. So for Black Kings to be 2.96, I mean, you're not gonna tell the difference. The only thing that you're gonna tell the difference with are the Illusionist decks, our Q1 decks, which means that they're highest quality. So you're gonna get much smoother edges, okay? You're gonna get much rounder, softer corners. Uh, you're gonna have more attention paid to the registry that's printed on the back of the cards. And so that'll give you the feel uh, that you're looking for, I think, between, uh, uh, you know, an illusionist deck and say something off the shelf. Uh, that definitely makes the cards feel nicer. But as far as thickness and as far as how they handle, uh, they're gonna be exactly the same. You won't be able to tell the difference. All right, so that was a great question from LaQuentin Edwards. And of course, if you'd like more content at any time, you can always go to magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.